Hey guys, how are you? I hope you guys are doing well today. Today I'm just going to talk about a busy mind. A lot of clients have been telling me during the sessions how they overthink, how they've had a busy mind. And I normally have a busy mind also, but I thought, let me allow myself to figure out how I overcome having a busy mind before I can really release the video for it. And I think I'm ready. So today I'm ready to talk about a busy mind and how I address my own busy mind. Um, I've written some things down. I don't have my notes um, with me, but these are the things that I release in my session, which I um, tools and strategies which I give to clients. So if you want to find out how to address your busy mind, your overthinking mind, you need to book a session and come to the therapy room. But I just want to say that having a bit busy mind can be quite overwhelming because you're not able to sleep, you're, you're thinking about so many things and your mind is going here and there. And one of the things I'll give to you, one of the key things is being able to prioritize your thoughts. You know, those are the things that, you know, the things you think about, you know, is your mind constipated with thoughts? Is your mind constipated with so many things? You, you cram them into your mind. You're thinking about this, thinking about, you're thinking about so many things. You can't sleep, you know, you, you're worried, a little bit of anxiety here and there. I want to encourage you that you can overcome your busy mind if you're able to follow the strategies and the steps that I'm going to give you in the therapy room about how to address a busy mind. For me, it's something that I had to sit with when I found that my mind was so busy you know, even when I'm sleeping, my mind is still alert. My mind was very busy and I couldn't do anything about that. I had to sit and ask myself, how do I overcome this busy mind? And one of the things I found out is to prioritize my thoughts. As soon as I started to prioritize my thoughts and know how to organize my thoughts and what to do, I decided that yes, it was time for me to be able to speak to the client because now I have and what it takes to be able to say yes I feel if you try this or try that in my work but you see not one size fits all like some clothes that you buy in the shop you know everyone's different just because it works for me doesn't mean that it will work for another person but I encourage you come to the therapy session book an appointment my you go to my website address which is www h t s a w y e r c s dot com sometimes i usually forget the name of my website because i'm so focused you know with so many other things you know addressing client issues and stuff but you know what it's on the um the description of this video um, the website description is there. You can always go on the, the website, click there, and you can click on the um, therapy videos because I'm going to upload this video and you can watch just to help you address what your busy mind. And also I encourage you, make an appointment to see me, um, book a session, and I can give you the full tips. First of all, it opened, I also like to understand your story. You know, what makes you have a busy mind? Why do you have a busy mind? What? How do you feel when you have a busy mind? What do you do with the things that you're busy thinking about? When you overthink, how does it impact you? How does it impact your relationship? Or how you, it impacts your sleep pattern? How it impacts other people? And, you know, what do you do with it? And what, what are your expectations, you know, of addressing this? Come to the therapy room and then we can both address it together and see if it works for you. Okay, have a nice day and I hope to see you in the therapy room. Goodbye.